Hey guys, Brooks C Tech here, and I hope you all had a fun, safe New Year's. Uh, just got something cool in that I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, it is a Lenovo M93P, kind of small form factor um, desktop PC. It's a full uh, x86 64 bit uh, PC with a Haswell uh, socket 1151 um, CPU socket. Um, Pretty small, it's about the size, I'd say a little bigger than, probably about an inch bigger on each side than a, like a CD case. Um, if you look in the back here, it's got quite a few ports, uh, three USB 3.0, a VGA serial out, uh, gigabit ethernet, and a display port. So, uh, unfortunately we won't be able to use a video card but the the intel integrated graphics should be enough for um you know just basic use um, on the back it just kind of has some details with the came with windows 7 pro uh, i'm going to be installing uh, windows 10 and probably uh, dual boot um, ubuntu on here but it looks like a cool little um, pc i've seen a few people use them uh, online a lot of people put like a higher end um, like i5 or i7 uh, CPU, those are still pretty expensive on uh, eBay. So I just bought, uh, this was like 12 bucks. Uh, you can't really see, but it's like a, f a G3, like a four G3 240T. So that's a 35 watt CPU that was like 12 bucks. Um, and then just four uh, gigabytes of RAM I'm gonna throw in there. It just takes laptop RAM. Uh, this is just a 128 gig. Uh, SSD I got on Amazon for like 13 bucks. Pretty cheap. I mean, Lexar, uh, haven't used them before, but I've had like memory cards for them. And then just a display port to HDMI adapter because we plan on using this um, on our uh, TV in our living room. So gonna get this set up. Let's take it apart and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so got the system apart. Wasn't too bad. Just uh, kind of slide this uh, front cover forward and it just pulls off and as you will see we got the motherboard in here I was actually pretty excited to see um, that it came with the drive tray uh, these aren't too common on eBay and um, the listing said it didn't come with it so for 35 bucks is what I paid for this barebone unit I'm actually pretty excited um, as you'll see there's the two uh, SO dim DDR3 uh, slots here and it does have a PCIe um, a PCIe um, expansion port for like a wireless card um, I'll show the, the kitty tacks they're not they're not getting along right now they they're always fighting each other this is Sophie and Figaro as you can see their tails are whipping around but uh, hopefully they can get along so we can make this video um, yeah so got the gonna put the um, the drive in and my uh, RAM sticks, and then I have to take a look under the CPU cooler here. I doubt there's a, a CPU hiding in there for me. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Figaro's getting in trouble there. Anyways, yeah, so let's uh, take this uh, CPU cooler off and get that uh, processor installed. Okay, got the processor in. Um, you know, just standard, your standard Intel um, pin on motherboard setup nothing too complicated there the ram slots in like you were doing a laptop um, one thing interesting i did see is it looks like there was a spot for a m sata drive uh, too bad mine didn't come with one that would be kind of cool to have um, i could use uh, the ssd for like storage and then get an m sata for the boot drive um, also i forgot to mention the power connector just uses um, standard uh, lenovo uh, laptop chargers before they switched over to the USB-C on like the uh, 480 series. So I do have plenty of those lying around. That's like the one thing our work actually does let us keep. Um, you know, I hear a lot about a lot of people getting to take home old servers or old laptops when their work retires them. Unfortunately, my office does not, but I do have a whole bunch of Lenovo chargers because usually they don't ask for those back. So got that covered there. I'm going to get this thing back together, put the, uh, kind of the heat pipe laptop style cooler back on and we'll uh, see if this thing's going to boot for me. All right. So we're all set up here. Got the drive put back in the CPU cooler. 
uh, installed. I'm gonna plug in my little wireless keyboard and mouse combo to see if we can get into the BIOS when we plug it in. Um, I do have a wireless card on the way. Um, I believe it is one that is whitelisted. Uh, unfortunately, like some laptops, like the Lenovo ones, um, only specific cards work with it. I don't know why they do that. Um, you are able to mod those, and I think you're actually, I could actually mod this BIOS to accept other cards. Um, I don't think I can just make it wide open. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but it sounds like it's pretty simple if you just want to add like a specific card. Um, you do need to know like the IDs to plug it into another computer. Um, but until that Wi-Fi card shows up, I just have one of these uh, cheap uh, USB dongles. So I'll be doing that um, when I get Windows installed on it. But yeah, let's get this thing plugged in and see if it boots up. All right, so the fan's turned on and we do have a power light, it looks like. Oh, and there is um, a Lenovo symbol on the screen. All right, so it's saying CPU replacement was detected. Some system features will uh, be disabled. And then looks like it's trying to boot there. This uh, drive is brand new, so it's not even partitioned, so. Um, Yeah, so now it's trying to boot and it's not finding an operating system. All right, yeah, so it looks like we are in working shape here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Windows installed on here and do some benchmarks and let, let you guys know what I think. Um, probably down the line, uh, I will update the processor to one of the i5s or i7 ones, but they're just um, really expensive now. One of those would cost more than I spent on the entire system itself. I think I spent about 70 bucks on this all together. So nice little uh, PC, you know, probably play some, some older games on here and uh, just use it to like you know, stream YouTube and maybe some Plex stuff on our uh, living room TV. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a comment and subscribe for more content. Thanks, bye.